Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Andy's Playground. I'm your host as always, Andy, and welcome to another video of what's new here at Epcot. We already filmed, yes, um, earlier, you might have seen a video um, showcasing all the three new films that came here recently to Epcot. That's in a previous video. What we're going to be focusing now is on the construction, on the Festival of the Arts. There's a lot of the cool new things that are popping up these days and I can't wait to show you guys all what's going on. So let's just get right into it. I can't show too much just because I don't want to get copyrighted, but this guy is painting to the beat of the music, which is sick. I'm not sure what he's painting yet, but it looks really cool. So I had to take some time to figure it out, but he's painting Donald. That's the hat. He's right now painting the head right now. As I've talked about before, Test Track is now down. It's going to be down through February. It looks like they're doing some exterior work here too, which looks kind of cool. They have a little stage set up here, which I'm curious about. I wonder what that's all about. I'm curious if you can ask anyone about that, because that looks really interesting. Maybe they're going to be doing some kind of presentation here. My, my understanding is that the main part of this refurb is software updates. Yeah, that's what I've understood too. Software updates, maybe they'll tweak it a little bit because it's really jerky, honestly, nowadays. Maybe they'll... Oh, software update, yeah. Yeah, maybe they'll fix it around. But, yeah. We'll have to see what happens when it reopens. This is now this back is open. Roped off on Thursday. This was behind the wall. Right? Yeah. So I'm glad that they brought I back the slushies. They're all the time. The cool, the cool. Well, the cool wash is always here, but oh, the they, 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 were, they had it walled off. The slushies are not. Oh wow. And yeah. the cool wash is actually behind the wall on Tuesday. You can go back and look at my stream. I'm glad to see that that's uh, back up and running. Over here where Daisy used to meet, Manny's now meeting over here from nine o'clock in the morning to eight thirty at night. So she's going to be right over there in that little space instead of Daisy. I'm not sure where Daisy went. I'm pretty sure I think she went over to one of the countries. But we'll have to go see if we can find her and see where she went to. So right over here where the Fountain of Nations wall has been erected, they're actually putting the wall for the painting wall where people can come in and they can paint their own little section on the wall. I'm probably going to try to see if I can do that myself. We're on our way right now to the Imagination Pavilion. We're going to try to check out see all the new stuff over there because I think they changed up the meet and greets because as you guys can tell Baymax, Joy, and Sadness are no longer meeting here. Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie are no longer meeting in the character spot around the corner here because they all got shifted around. It's kind of interesting just to see and figure out everything out. But I'm just excited to see what else we can see in the Imagination Pavilion and how they're changing that. One thing that is good to see is that Ralph and Vanellope are still over here. They're still meeting with people. And also over here, Joy came over here. Sadness, I'm not sure if she's meeting anymore, but Joy's over here, so at least that's good. <laughs> that looks really cute. But yeah, Ralph and Vanellope are still here, and now Joy is over here as well. Let's see if there's anything else new around this area. Okay. So over here we can see another side of it. This is also where the Festival of the Arts section is over here as well. They have all these different art aspects over here, including some Thomas Kincaid pictures as well. Which looks really, really cool. I've always been a big fan of Eric Dowdle and Thomas Kincaid. These are all really, really cool. Yes, that's correct. One thing I'll show you really quick, just as a general overview for the Festival of the Arts, they have these little stands, kind of like what they did with food and wine, and um, as well as with the Festival of the Holidays, where they just kind of give you a good idea on all the stuff that there is to do here. You can see there's a ton of different things going on just for this festival here. And on this map, you can be able to see all the new stuff that's coming in and coming in towards this area. You see all the different photo opportunities, like this one right here. You can see uh, all these different stores that are gonna be selling different festival merchandise and things like that. And then you can just get a good idea as to what all you can be able to see and experience here. So I advise you guys, if you're looking for a good overall thing or just trying to see what all is going on, I'd recommend you guys check out this stuff right here. That'll give you a good idea. One thing that's kind of interesting is they have all these different food booths all over the place, just like I mentioned in uh, Food and Wine. But they also have these little photo ops where you can put yourselves in these paintings here. Over here, you can actually see some of these from the, like the Mona Lisa right here. Or you can be uh, from the screen right over here as well. 
And the idea is you recreate the paintings right there, as you see that I'm doing right there as well. We have a lot of cool paintings over here as well. And what's really cool is they actually bring out the artists who create these things as well too, which is just really awesome as well. A lot of these are really, really, really gorgeous. I love this. That one's cool. You, Andy, you know my favorite Disney princess is Ariel. So. That's cool. That's so that one's pretty cool as well. You know, I love Mickey and Minnie Death. I don't know if I care for these two. I mean, they're nice, but... Yeah. I mean, the one on top is They're all really pretty. So it's just cool to be able to see these people and just talk to them about their art as well if you'd be interested in hearing their story. Because they're all out here signing them as well. Wait, what about this one, Aaron? Okay, sign me up. I'll take it. That one's a good one. A lot of really cute characters. Right over here at the American Pavilion, you can see that the construction crews are right here. They're over here hard at work at the Sam Eagle Smokehouse area, which is going to be a really cool barbecue joint over here as well. I'm really hoping that it's another way they can incorporate the Muppets into an area where they can be useful here. Um, if you guys can tell, they have the concept art right over there, which is really, really cool. Take a look at that. They're saying that this will be opening soon. Um, they're supposed to open like later this winter, probably some, maybe next month. It looks like the construction crews are hard at work, so I'm, I'd be very interested and curious to see how fast they can be along this line. So hopefully they can be coming out soon. I'm hoping to create another video, an opinion-based video on how to save the Muppets. I'm going to be talking about this area as well over here too, so keep on the lookout for that as well. Right over here they have the Disney on Broadway series coming here where they're going to have Broadway singers come and perform. They have regular performances all throughout the time here and they'll have recurring people that will come back and do some cool performances. Some of the cool people I've seen on there that are coming sooner like Adam Jacobs who played Aladdin on Broadway when it was debuting on Broadway. So it'll be kind of cool. I'll have to kind of try to see if I can see a show one of these days. Probably won't be today just because we're still having so much we need to film today. But who knows, we'll be able to try to see if we can get that soon. Also, I just want to say really quick, it's been a beautiful day here in Epcot. It's been incredibly busy though. Way overcrowded than I've typically seen it. But I'm pretty sure that's just because it's day one of the Festival of the Arts. And so we'll have to see how it just evens out as it gets towards the less busier times of the year. So over here, this is the spin art where you literally spin and you create a creation. They have similar creations like right over here that you guys can see and check out right over there. But basically you ride a bicycle, you spin it, and it kind of creates the art right in here. That's way cool. I am loving all this art. There's just so much art. It's great. Look at this one. Okay, I need okay. all Sorcerer Mickey's wrapped up and These are gorgeous. The Paper Man one? Oh my word. Oh my gosh, I need to see the Paper Man one. I love that short, by the way. Look at that. Oh. These are all cute. Moana and Pua. I think, this is a, I think these are by official Disney artists, too. Wait, these are awesome. Wait, the, the actual booth is over here. Elliot! Oh my goodness. That's so awesome. These are all gorgeous. Is that because of that other movie that came out? I don't know. Oh my word. So guys, what I'm deciding is it's incredibly busy right now. So busy here that I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to take the Skyliner and Monorail and still keep up with everyone today just because there's just a lot going on today. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to come back later and we're going to try to do the monorail on a different day when it's not nearly so crowded, not nearly so busy. That way we can enjoy ourselves here. Just have fun today and then we'll come back and do another commentary later. So, so just to give you a little bit of an update, we're here now. Sierra's here and we just happened to purchase own picture of art. Um, we decided to get an art designed by Paige O'Hara just because today of all days, we had Paige O'Hara, the actual Paige O'Hara, to sign it. 
And so we just had our interaction. I felt it best not to use the camera at all, but it was absolutely insane. And it's really windy, as you guys can probably tell right now. So all of our hair was just blowing all over the place, including hers. But we just met Paige O'Hara. She's the voice of Belle, for those of you who don't know that. Um, it was an absolutely insane just meeting. Um, she's my favorite princess. Um, and so we were able to get this really cool painting. We'll show you guys a picture of it later, right here. I'll just put it right here in front of Sierra's face. That's what we'll do right there. Um, she signed it out toward, to Sierra as well. She asked who we wanted to sign it out to. I was like, uh, uh, just Sierra. And so I was like, okay. it's made out to Sierra. And she was really nice too. She complimented on my eyes. Oh. And she also talked about like a very uh, professional singer, like one of the best singers she's ever met, who was also named Sierra. So now I have to look her up now. Yes. It was the coolest thing ever. So, honestly, I think we're going to end the vlog here. Because, I mean, honestly, I can't think of anything that's going to top that. Loads of things are changing here in Epcot. I'm sure I'll be back here to cover more stuff in the future. But until next time. We'll see you real soon.